Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. So this is a class about how to paint an individual blueberry. I do have a class on Patreon, how to paint all these blueberries with the background, including a dragonfly. This class is available on my Patreon. So www.patreon.com slash Maria Mordain. Now the first thing you wanna do is wet the blueberry. And like I said, we're gonna wet everything except for the highlights. You want to do it for a couple of minutes because that will give you more time. So I'm using my round brush size 8. This is golden one. It's a medium stiff brush. I have a fine point. This fine point uh, plays a huge role here because it's like my pencil almost. It's like having a pencil. So as you see, like it's super easy to go along the edges. And also when I want to go in between, we're going to start with that yellowish undertone, right? So this is my Imi Desalone Yellow with a little bit of quinacridone red. I'm just grabbing quickly. Now again, I don't want these colors to be too um, mixed up, right, on the, on the palette. I want this mixing to happen here on the paper. So, so I can see separation of colors. I'm gonna grab a little more of it. And I'm quickly going to add it maybe like over here and over here, just to have some of that reddish undertone and maybe over here even in the center. So I don't want these colors to be overly uh, mixed on my palette. I want everything to happen on the paper. And then I'm going for these, kind of like trying to find the darkest ears and you're very gently touching it. Now, the paint is spreading because we grab this diluted paint with water, right? Like this. This feels more like a milk-like ratio. And we're just applying it towards couple some of the areas. You always want to think about where you're applying the colors. But that's why we're mixing colors on the paper not palette and then i'm going to grab a tiny bit of this other um blue as well and here is my red and again this is what it looks like this is more like a half and half like ratio between water and paint and then whenever i feel like i see that blue violet this is just cobalt blue and i'm going to place it closer closer towards this area that i preserve to stay paper dry right so right there and then with that brush i'm going to also go on the inside cobalt blue and quinacridone red and let's add it like maybe here on the bottom because we need to create a balance between light and shadows so some areas need to be darker than other areas we can't just have everything um the same kind of uh the same values and so on because then there, it's just it's going to look flat grab a smaller brush this is my cosmotop spin size 2 and i'm going to grab this uh cream top of the um, quinacridone red, there's my cobalt blue. I need this thick paint, right? Right there. And then on top of that, I want some of this indigo, but I grabbed the paint that was too diluted with water. And now this feels like this. So it's like thick paint, right? On the tip of my brush, it is diluted with water, but before this is too dry, before it's too dry, I can still drop a little bit of paint. And how about just kind of like, painting these beautiful flowers, the flower that we have, that we see there. Another thing which you could do with that damp brush, so you wipe your brush on a towel first, and then you can lift. I have um, a class about lifting. Please let me know if something is not clear, especially if you're new to watercolors. I'm just lifting. Lifting wasn't easy for me at the beginning, so I totally understand. A full class is available on Patreon. The same thing with the blueberries and the dragonfly. Also on Patreon, you'll find over 500 tutorials since I've been teaching on Patreon since 2017. So there's plenty to choose from, whether you're a landscape painter, or you prefer cats or dogs, parrots, uh, some still life, everything is there. So I hope to see you there.